It's currently 95 degrees outside. There are more bugs than I can count. There's an incoming thunderstorm, and yet I could not think of anywhere else I'd rather be than right here fossil hunting with you guys. I've got most of my gear loaded up in this wheelbarrow. We've got about a mile left in the wheelbarrow, and then I'm gonna have to carry it all out by hand for another mile. But after that, I'll be in the river finding some really cool fossils to show you guys. If any of you have ever gotten the impression that what I do is easy, let me just correct that impression right now this is not easy and while i still have quite a bit of this left to do i thought i might let you guys enjoy some of the more relaxing bits of this with some of the beautiful scenery and animals you can see on these fossil hunts but i still have to get through all of this look at those little guys I've managed to make it to the river without completely exhausting myself. As you guys can see, the visibility is really poor today. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is wait at each bend for at least 30 minutes to see if a gator surfaces. And if no gator surfaces, we're good to dive it. It's really going to slow down how much I can dive today. But if we get lucky, I know this area can be really good. I've been fossil hunting since I could hold a shovel. And on days like this, the biggest thing you worry about are gators. And I can tell you, you never get used to seeing them in the water. They can be in any one of these bends under any one of these fallen logs, but that's what you have to deal with, the fossil guardians, the treasure guardians down here. And I will deal with gators in order to find some incredible fossils and go to beautiful places like this. Here comes the part where things get interesting. I'm not gonna be able to record going in because I really need to focus, but I'm gonna dive this deep hole. And if there's something in there, I'll make sure to show you guys. Well, apparently during that time we were diving, it started raining. It's not gonna stop me from continuing the fossil hunt, but man, it is wild out here. Found a couple cool things, but not enough to satisfy me. So let's keep looking. The rivers eroded a whole area over here loaded with bone. So I just found this little piece. There's tons of turtle shell. I'm gonna try to sand up a section of it and then I'll show you what kind of bone we can find in a little section of river like this when it erodes a new area. So I'm really excited. It's got the potential for something else really nice in there. And I just gotta get back underwater. <laughs>
That is an incredible mastodon tooth. The thing is huge. That's got to be one of the biggest, baddest ones I've found. I'm freaking out a little bit. That's pretty amazing. Oh, look at the wear like here. That is so cool. I don't know guys, you don't know how awesome this tooth is. It is so heavy too. I don't think I can top that today, but there might be something else in there. I don't know. I'm a little bit cold even though it was 95 degrees earlier. I've been doing this for a while, but that is so worth it. That is so freaking cool. I could not get back in the water without telling you guys more about this incredible fossil. So this tooth, yes, a single tooth belongs to an extinct American mastodon. They're one of my favorite extinct Ice Age fossils to find out here. And they're really unique being that they are the first animal recognized as extinct by science. And that mainly owes to their incredibly unique, large conical shaped teeth. So no other living animal has teeth that are this large with this type of enamel cap. Elephant teeth do get as big and even bigger, but they were grazers. So they have enamel plates and a smooth chewing surface for chewing down grass. But this is a really incredible fossil. I don't know how we're gonna to top it off today, but I will definitely try. And I am very happy that I came out today, despite the weather, despite the murky river, and despite all the bugs. Really awesome fossil hunt, really awesome fossil. The rain's coming down again, and that's my cue to get back underwater. Not a bad washout. Laying on top of my fingers, you guys can see those two alligator scoots and that massive, awesome alligator tooth. In the middle of my hand, we've got two giant armadillo scoots and then some other cool bones like that unfused vertebrae, some mastodon enamel. Really, really good stuff. And then I'm about to show you guys literally a pile of bones. Starting over here, we've got these three beautiful giant armadillo scoots. Um, they're called osteoderms, which means bony skin in Latin. And you guys can see why this animal would have had hundreds of these to protect it, and it would have been a couple hundred pounds. Imagine an armadillo that weighed a couple hundred pounds. Really cool finds. We've got our gator material. This is a big gator vertebrae from a 10-footer. Some more osteoderms, some gator scoots. That one and that one. A wicked tooth. A really nice extinct ice age horse tooth. You know, your normal broken mastodon teeth and an unfused vertebrae, which is really cool. So this would have been from a juvenile. This would be like a cap to the vertebrae. And when they become adults, this fuses. So this poor individual died when it was just a juvenile. But for the reason I come out here and the best find of the day was this unbelievable mastodon tooth. We got in a nice bone bed. As you guys can see, all this different bone beneath it, including that section of jaw. And then we found a couple broken pieces of mastodon root right there. But that is going to be hard to beat. Really incredible find and really a trip maker. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this adventure. This is my happy place, and the fact that you guys like it too means so much to me. If you did enjoy this particular video, make sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And we will keep on bringing you guys these awesome videos. And until then, keep on digging science.